What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the Gloss Garage where we make detailing simple. My name is Sock and I have something special for you guys. I apologize, I do still have a stuffed nose, but it's actually because it's cold outside. I am doing this intro after the fact. We did a 2013 jo uh, Dodge uh, Charger, if I remember correctly, but that's what we did it on. And we did a whole rinse and swash, um, clay seal, and we did a basic interior. I did not record the interior because again, it's freezing outside. It's actually 20 degrees outside. So my wife took care of the interior. I did the whole rinse and swash on the wheels and my wife helped me out on the paint. And we just did that again. It's freezing outside. So yes, I will show you guys a quick before, a quick of the stuff when we were doing the rinse and swash with the uh, clay and then seal. And then from there, I will show you guys the after results because again, I have to stress it, it's freezing outside. But yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this type of content. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And other than that, let's go ahead and get started. By the way, all the products will be down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and purchase them. But for this 2013 Dodge Charger, it's white. For it to be in that condition, it's actually really, really good. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So here is the car right here. So let's go take a look. It's 20 degrees, so. I already have the hot water over there with the rinse and wash solution. We're just gonna vacuum, do a wipe down, use interior clean and protect from DIY detail. And on the exterior, we'll do the full rinse and wash again. So that way you guys can go ahead and see how this vehicle turns out. It's actually in really great shape for it being a 2013. So, the customer did buy this used. He wants to get the uh, headlight polished, but we'll probably polish the, as well, the tail light and add exterior ceramic coating from the LI detail to protect it. And that's just the saw on the roads. I don't know what this is. It's a bit wet, but you know, we'll just go ahead and clean this up. He's going for our intro package just so you guys know. So it's just a wash clay and seal on the exterior with the addition of the headlight restoration and also in the intro package was included. It is the basic interior wipe down, which we will be doing. So it's gonna be a big night and day difference. We will clean the wheel wells. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get started because it's super cold. All right, everyone. So here we're moving on to the rims and tires as usual. So I like to start that off first. And I like to use, again, the Extra Tough Wheel and Tire Cleaner in conjunction with the rinse and swash. You can use whatever rinse and swash of your choice. But my favorite one at the moment is the DIY Detail Rinse and Swash. And it cleans the best, in my opinion. It is just overall just great. But yes, uh, you could use whatever one you want. You could use the Phoenix EOD Hydra. You could use American Detailers Wipeout. You could use, you know, O&R, McKees 37 and 914. The list goes on and on. So what is the main purpose of this video? It's mainly how to detail in the winter time, right? And also if you're a mobile detailer and you tend to stop detailing completely or just wondering how to detail more efficiently in the winter time because again the water starts freezing and all this other stuff and you don't want to stay out in the cold for long try this method out a rinse and swash is something that works amazing in the winter and in the summer it's a all year round type of product that you could really use right so in the winter time i like to tell people it's no different than detailing in the summertime the only difference is the water freezes on the surface where you can cause damage when you are scraping that or moving that ice around and dragging it on the actual paint compared to the summertime where you're putting chemicals on a dry hot panel which you can stain the paint right that's pretty much it the opposite is you're just freezing while you're just sweating your ass off in the actual heat so as you see what i'm doing here i do have hot water inside my rinse and wash bucket and i'm using the diy detail legacy sponge and 
again, I'm doing panel by panel. I am literally doing panel by panel. That's the only way you could do it in the winter time because the water freezes after five to 10 minutes. So you do panel by panel and I stop recording after a certain section. Again, I was mainly breezing through this whole thing. And I just want to show you guys how you could achieve the same results in literally 30, 40 minutes. You guys saw the intro on how I was freezing because I did the intro after the fact and you saw how red my face was. And that was only 45 minutes that it took to detail the whole inside and outside of this vehicle me and my wife took. So this is how the car looks literally right after. It just looks nice, shiny and glossy. This whole half of the car took about 10 to 15 minutes to do. And it was just quick and easy a wash clay and seal and then as we move on to the tires you guys already saw our, the tires are already dry we apply the tire dressing from diy detail the wheels look nice and clean and then we move on to the headlight enhancement i really couldn't do any restoration on it because the clear coat is already starting to crack on it i didn't want to sand it so i pretty much told them hey listen i could you know compound polish it, do a quick pass and then make it look as best as possible so yeah so i just did that and i applied the diy detail ceramic coating right on top of it and just to seal it for a couple of months is not gonna last years unfortunately but yes we made sure it bonded onto it and there's a complete night and day difference look at how that left half and the right half just look and then we follow it up with the optimum hyper polish which i have i have a bunch of polishes so i just don't want you guys to think i just use one specific polish because i am running through uh all these polishes so i could just finish it all out but again that's a video for another time but yeah i just finished polishing the headlights and then that is about it so here is the after results and all the products will be down below in the description for you guys to order all right everyone so here is the vehicle just take a look nice and clean this is all actually already stained even if you take an acid wheel cleaner that's already gone like look it looks like they've already tried to take it off but you know yeah here we cleaned all of the wheel wells nice and clean use the diy detail tire shine come around here just the paint, nice and glossy, wash, clay, and seal. Polish the headlights, not as cloudy anymore. And we use the DIY detail exterior ceramic on there, ceramic coating to protect it for at least a couple years or so. Windows nice and clean. The rooms again, nice and shiny. Let's go to the interior where we use the interior clean and protect from DIY detail. And look how nice and clean everything came out. Nice, clean, it leaves that nice satin finish or sheen. And yeah, so I'm sure the customer will be very, very, very happy with what we did. And again, we just did a rinseless wash. I'm sorry if I didn't record everything because again, it is freezing outside. As you can see where we already did the rinseless wash in general, it's already icy. So yeah, so here's the whole vehicle again. Let's go back around, nice and shiny. And this is a 2013 uh, Dodge, I forgot what it is, but it's nice shiny and glossy so if you guys enjoyed this type of content hit that like button hit that subscribe button and i apologize again it's just i just have a runny nose just because of the simple fact that it is cold outside that's about it so yeah i'll see you guys on the next one peace